Hey guys, welcome to uh, this week's Tuesday Night Flights. Uh, today we have a much larger update than we did last week. Uh, quite a lot more aircraft, especially in the main terminal. We've just got some military aircraft over there. Uh, so without further ado, let's head on into the update. First off, we have an Alaska Air New Horizons E-175 uh, in the retro livery. I honestly really enjoy looking at this livery. It looks super nice. Um, and that's going to be heading out to Seattle. These next few routes are actually been suggested in the last comment section. Uh, so if you have any ideas, please comment down below. It makes the videos a lot more fun and, you know, just a lot more fun to do. And it also incorporates you guys in, so you guys have a part and right, say in this series too. So we have this United CRJ-200 uh, making its way over the Pacific Ocean to Shanghai, China because of how comfortable it is. Uh, for the people making that long journey to Shanghai. Next up, we have an Allegiant Air uh, A319. Um, this is also going to be heading overseas, but this time the Atlantic and not the Pacific. It will be heading over to Istanbul, Turkey um, on its new daily route because Allegiant has a huge demand for the Turkish population. Next, we have a dearly missed airline, Northwest, and this is a 757-200 making its way to its main hub of Minneapolis-St. Paul. Behind that, we have a Sun Country 737-800. This will be heading out to Phoenix, Arizona. Now we have a Delta Airline 757-200, and this will be heading over to Atlanta-Hartsfield-Jackson. Uh, next up here, we have an Air Canada 787-9. Uh, this will be making its way to Devil's Lake, North Dakota, because it's a rapidly and huge city. It's a, a major airport for the entire country, and that's why it's happening five times every day. So, uh, welcome this Air Canada 787-9 service to Devil's Lake five times a day. Next up, we have a B-52-H, uh, and this is going to be going to uh, Williams Field for some scheduled maintenance. And last up, we have a FedEx 777-F. Uh, this will be going to one of the world's largest cargo hubs of Minot. Let's conclude the video with an airport tour.